Okay guys, so we've come to the last video of my tutorial on how to make macarons. Now, um, I've had to film this last one on a separate day, uh, so hence the haircut and different shorts. Now, uh, we've let our macarons bake for 12 minutes. Uh, I let them cool down and that's when I pipe them. Now you want to let them, uh, you want to pipe them as soon as they've cooled down. Don't let them kind of stay out too long because they will dry out. And so when, when you bite into it, it's going to kind of be very dry, which is not what you want in a macaron. Now I've got my little trusty mini iPad here because I've got a couple notes I need to go through for you guys. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is that when you buy it from a bakery, they actually sell you a macaron which is about one or two days old and the reason they do this is because like I said before the biscuit uh, soaks in the filling and that kind of makes it nice and soft which is what you want in a macaron. Now I'm just going to have a little disclaimer here because here's a bit of backstory with me and macarons. They're a really really touchy subject with me. Now when I first made macarons they came out absolutely perfect. The next 10 times, and I'm not even kidding, they were the biggest flop. I don't know what I did right the first time and what I did wrong the rest of the times. So what I did was, I made an oath to go to France and learn how to make macarons. And I wanted to taste proper macarons. And I went over there and I'm telling you on the first day I had like 20 macarons. And yeah, pure Hermeo ones were my favourite. Anyway. So I went over there, I learned how to make macarons, and I learned exactly where I was going wrong, and that was macaronage. So if you've seen all my videos on this tutorial, macaronage was a video I made on how to properly mix your macaron batter, because you really need to get it perfect so that you can pipe it so they come out nice. Okay, so this tutorial is how I make macarons and how they come out right for me. Okay, so there's a couple things you need to keep in mind when you're making macarons and one of the big things is temperature. Temperature of the environment of the kitchen, like humidity, if it's too humid a day, your macarons aren't going to dry up um, as quickly as you need them to when you've got them on the tray, so you might need to leave them a bit longer because you really need them to kind of develop that crust. Another thing is that you need to make sure all of your equipment and your ingredients are ready because one step follows the other and if you don't have your ingredients ready, it's just going to be a disaster. So every time I make macarons, everything is ready before I make them, otherwise I will have a nervous breakdown. With almond meal, you need to avoid using almond meal that's homemade and the reason is because almond meal that's homemade is, has a lot more moisture than the one that you buy from the shops and Adding more moisture in your macarons is not going to help it. When you're making your syrup for the uh, Italian meringue, you need to make sure that the syrup does not colour. You don't want a golden colour, you want it to stay clear. If your syrup colours, it's because you've got it on too high a heat, you need to start again. I didn't colour these macarons, but uh, I can do, I'll do another video on, I'm going to do it, more videos on different flavours of macarons, but if you want to colour your macarons, add a little bit of either food gel or food powder colouring in your um, meringue. And you want to mix that in there, okay? So don't use liquid food dye because it's going to add more moisture. And like I said before, you don't want to add more moisture in your batter. That's the stage that you need to colour your macarons. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, or you think I've done anything wrong, or it's different to how you guys make it, or it's different to how your grandma taught you to make it, that's okay, leave a comment down below, and you know, any questions, I'll get back to you. Um, this is how I make macarons, so I mean, they might be different to how other people make them. Um, so, thanks for watching guys, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I really love for you guys to subscribe, because I've got heaps more videos coming, and I'd love for you to check out my Facebook page and my Instagram, I've got the links for those down below, as well as the recipe for my macarons. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial on macarons and stay tuned for more.